Uh, Ecuador's president is Rafael Correa, a charismatic leader who, uh, once a week, does an address to the nation he calls Citizen Link, where, as you'll see, some amazing things can happen. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that is how a president should address a nation. In fact, every presidential speech from now on should have somewhere within it, in brackets, clown enters. <laughs> now, so look, th these addresses can clearly be pretty fun. Unfortunately, they can also take a darker turn. Yes, darker even than a clown. Because <laughs> Correa frequently uses them as a platform to attack people he feels insulted by. On more than one occasion, he's ripped up newspapers that have criticised him because, I guess, he doesn't realise that newspapers tend to print more than one copy. <laughs> and, and last week, it actually got even worse when, for some reason, he decided to start calling out individuals by name who had been abusing him on Twitter. Otro angelito. Arroba Twitter. Another little angel. He's a Twitter vendido. His real name is Johan Arturo Caicedo Rovira. So young. What a shame. He's 18 years old. Very young. Oh, 18. So young. So immature. Unlike me, the 51-year-old head of state who is currently attacking him in public. <laughs> now, now, now just to, to be fair to him, that 18-year-old had expressed a hope that Correa would die. But, but... <laughs> Correa should have people who take care of that sort of thing for him, rather than spending, like he did, nearly 15 minutes calling out online trolls, even attacking one individual's Facebook page. El angelito de la... The little angel, and I didn't even know his name. He was just crudo Ecuador. He's got a whole bunch of trash on his page. Yeah, of course he has. That's what Facebook is. <laughs> Pages full of trash. Stop Googling yourself. You're president of Ecuador. <laughs> he, he even explicitly encouraged his supporters to tweet back at his attackers. Somos más, muchísimos más. Le responderemos. We are more, many more. We will respond in the exact same way, my friends. If they send one tweet, we'll send 10,000, because we are 10,000 to one. <laughs> How are you now getting involved in a Twitter war? <laughs> You do know no one has ever won one of those, right? It's impossible. Look, look, President Correa, if you're this sensitive, then Twitter and Facebook might not be for you. And, and to be honest, being a world leader might not be for you, unless you can build up your tolerance for personal abuse. Trust me, I've been through this. I used to be very sensitive, then I became a comedian, and I got insulted so much, I can't feel anything anymore. <laughs> It's made me stronger as a person, emptier and stronger. <laughs> so, so you don't need less abuse, you need more. You need more abuse to tip you over the edge. So allow me to help you right now. <clears throat> um, hey, <laughs> President Correa, nice smug smile you've got. You look like a used Jeremy Piven salesman. <laughs> you look like every real housewife's third husband. <laughs> In fact, you're the only president for whom this might be the single most dignified moment of your presidency. <laughs> oh, and by the way, what the hell is happening here? That's a necklace made out of penises. <laughs> That's not even a joke. That's a dickless around your neck. <laughs> and don't get offended by this, President Correa, because if your skin was any thinner, you'd be a taint. So don't get, don't get offended. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I think we all know what that music means. A psychotic clown. Tell me our time is up. But I would encourage all of you to tweet insults to 